Good morning, Rabotai. I'm very happy to be the one to try to give over some of the ideas on the magnificent story of Parashat Noah. What's special to me about this parasha is that it's a parasha and a story that we all grew up with. Everybody from the youngest child in Kalal Yisrael to the oldest, everyone still loves the story about Noah and the Mabul. But there's a tremendous meaning to this today in America. And I think that this is the proper intro to beginning the to begin the parasha. We're living in a time that wasn't that different than the story of the door, the generation of Noah, where it seems like the entire society and the whole world just went to complete corruption. So what does Hashem tell a Jew to do at that time? Go into the Teva, go into the Yeshiva, go into the Bet Midrash. Find yourself a place that you'll be able to literally connect to Hashem by keeping out the corruption and the difficulties of the world around us. And with that, you bring in your children and you bring in your wife and you bring in everything that shayach to your family and keep them indoors. And when we say indoors, we're talking spiritually and physically. Like the great Rabbi Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky used to say, Ki chizak When you strengthen the locks on your doors and you put on good solid doors to the outside world and you keep your home, the teva, clean and pure of a Jewish home, then berach banaich bekirbech. That's when you're going to have the incredible blessing of a wonderful family and beautiful children. So our homes today, especially a Jew in America, is the Teva of Noah. And we're floating along in this storm of corruption that's around us to be able to finally make it to the times of Mashiach, amen. So we're starting here, the first Aliyah, Parashat Noah. Noah is called a tzaddik. Matter of fact, he's the first one that's called a tzaddik. A tzaddik is someone who later on is going to have the opportunity to be able to feed the entire world. Noah was called a tzaddik. Moshe Rabbeinu was called a tzaddik because in his zikhut we got the man. He fell, fed a whole nation. God is called tzaddik. Sadiq Hashem Bechol Derachav, because he feeds the whole world. One day Noah, at the end of this parasha, is going to be the one to start over again, replant, reharvest, and be the one to feed the world. But for now, the opening of the parasha, Noah ish tzaddik, tamim haya bedorotav. He was a tzaddik in his generation. He was blessed with three sons, Shem, Ham, and Yefet. The Torah tells us that at that time, the earth became very corrupt. And Hashem saw that corruption. And he decided to go and destroy the entire world by way of bringing a great flood. Hashem tells Noah, go out and make a teva, make an ark. And it should be made from atzei gofer. It should be smeared inside and out. And then he gave him exact measurements of exactly the size, the height, that this teva should be. It's amazing how later on, when the storm comes, the teva was made in such a way that it was able to survive, not just the storm of above, but the underground waters as well. So these measurements were brilliant. This teva had on it a tsohar, which Rashi tells us might be two different understandings, whether it had been uh, a window or a special gemstone. We'll go with the simple shot that it was a window. And then on the side of the teva, there was a door. He was instructed to put a door on the side. And then Hashem makes a treaty, a breach, with Noah and his family as we turn the page. And that treaty, that breach that he makes with Noah and his family was also with two of each of the animals that later on was going to survive through the Teva and be the ones to propagate a new world, male and female. 
So Hashem makes this treaty with Noah and his children and the animals and all living things that were going to survive in the Teva. And that treaty was that they are going to be saved from the oncoming catastrophe. They're going to be the ones that are going to be the seeds that are going to be the plant of the new world right after the Mabul. And the Aliyah ends that Noah did everything that Hashem commanded.